you know, I always encourage people to download my videos, share my videos. I don't mind if you make money, like advertising, etc. That's not, not the problem for me. Yes, Abdul. What's up, dude? Hmm. You want to speak to me as a man, or I will hang up on you. And I warn you, if you want to insult me, if you want to insult me as usual, I'm going to insult your prophet. So I'm just giving you a warning. So I'm gonna give you a warning too, because you're 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 cursing the prophet, you're cursing Allah. I don't care. You are calling me. I'm not calling you. If you don't, if you cannot handle it, don't call me. <laughs> it's up to you. You insult me, I will insult your prophet harshly. So uh, okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. The, the 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 warning is delivered now uh, Why Allah he promised the Jews to go and take the land which is called the Holy Land Israel Do you have an answer Holy for that? Israel. Hmm. Israel 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 what is Israel explain? I don't know ask, I ask Allah ask Allah here here Allah he says to the to the Jews Oh, oh, oh people go and attack the land, the holy land, which Allah assigned to you. You tell me where is the holy land, which Allah assigned to you. Is that Mecca? Uh, the holy land uh, hmm. was uh, is Israel, Jerusalem, and the holy land is Mecca, Medina. Okay, hmm. Hmm. those so, are all holy lands. You get it? Hmm. So Allah, uh, Allah ordered the Jews so to take Mecca. When, when at the time when Islam came as a religion to the Arab, Arab world, in hmm. that, that time after Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, hmm. and when Muhammad, peace be upon him, he came as a prophet to the to the to those mushrikeens in Mecca, mushrikeen in Mecca at that time. Mm. So after that, when Islam grew, and you know Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he did Hijrah to Medina, and Muhammad Sallam went. You know, after that, you know all the fights and everything, all the jihad. I don't know if you are Muslim. listening to my question, my friend. You are talking about things I did not ask you. After that, all those Jews and Christians they accepted Islam. Most of them, most of them didn't accept. Most Islam. of them. Mm. Yeah, mm. most of them accepted Islam. Mm -hmm. And and the Bible that you have now is. Not the Bible that that was there at the time of Muhammad peace be upon him. Mm. So you get it? Mm. I got it. So why your prophet he swear? Why your prophet he, so he swear by the Bible? At that time, the Bible, the Bible was a real Bible. The Bible so Bible in the time of Muhammad, saying, so in the time of Muhammad, the Bible was real. It was a it was word of God. Yeah, of course. Okay, that so that's mean. What is the need of Muhammad to come if the people are not corrupt and still they are following the the, the true Bible? Then okay, listen. People at that time they were not uh, they were not following. Uh, they were not following the teaching of uh, Torah and uh, like what? And the Bible. Okay. Like what? Are you following the teaching of the Torah? I am. I am. Listen. Okay. So do do you do you respect the Sabbath? Isn't that your faith? Isn't that your faith that uh, that as it as is stated in your Bible mm. that the Lord of the Lord of uh, the Lord of um, Israel and the Lord of mine said so Jesus is mine is one Lord. Okay. Mm. Is that your faith, right? Mm. And you get it, right? Mm. So if you if Jesus is saying that my my Lord and the Lord Israel is one. What does that mean? Is that make Jesus a God or prophet? Mm. You see, you are jumping like a monkey from place to place. When Jesus, no, he I'm said, not, I'm not. "You don't." We okay, okay, no problem, no problem. You are trying to divert. I ask you about Jerusalem, uh, about the Jews being ordered to go and take Israel, and look where you end. Now, let me answer you. Let me answer you. Okay, are you What's going up? to let me talk, or you want to scream and shout and go jump? Ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Jesus, you know, when we, when we, when Jesus speak, he don't take. We don't take a sentence. We say Jesus said this only. You have to take what he said before and what he take after. So, do you accept what is mentioned in that chapter, all of it, or you accept only that sentence? I only accept that sentence. Now, who who are you to accept the sentence only? So either you, so but, that's who who mean you are, are you a hypocrite. That's mean you are a hypocrite. So I can show you now in the Quran it says <laughs> I can show you right now in the Quran. The Quran says don't so pray. Who are you to accept? I can show you. I can show you. You see, you are a hypocrite. You are a hypocrite kid. You have no <laughs> dignity and you have no honor. Either you say I accept what Jesus says in that book, or you say I accept only a sentence, and this is the only sentence. This the Quran says to you, "Wala taqrabu salata wa antum," and then I can stop. Wala taqrabu salat. Can I say that sentence only? If the Quran says, "Don't pray." No, you, can, you have to read the whole sentence. Here we go. So you have to read the whole thing. So when you want, you have to read the whole thing. When you want, you don't have to read the whole thing. So you are a hypocrite, and that's why we call you hypocrite. And every Muslim is a hypocrite until well, he proved the opposite. Hypocrite. First, explain hypocrite. What is a hypocrite? Hypocrite is a, is a, somebody is a Muslim. He go and he pray in the corner, as Jesus said. Don't be the same as those who pray in the corners. This is what the Muslims do. Don't when you when you <laughs> when you fast when you fast, you know. Don't show that you are fasting. This is what the Muslim do. The Muslim, if he if he fast, and by the way, there is no fasting in Islam. It's a joke. 
he have to tell everybody he's fasting if you want to pray uh, brothers i have to go and pray he'll go to the corner he'll open the windows of his house and he'll go to the balcony to pray so everybody all the neighbors will see him that praying and not only that sometimes even you will see a taxi driver going in the top of his car so everybody in the neighborhood will say that Muhammad Abdul is a praying. Allahu Akbar. Islam, Allahu Akbar. Islam is a hypocrisy and your prophet is a hypocrite. Allahu and we can prove it. Did your prophet he order the Muslims not to have sex with their wives when they have or not to get close to them when they have their period? Of course, Islam Islam prohibits uh Okay. You know. So what what your prophet what your what your prophet he used to do when his wives are in period? Okay. So According to our the Sunnah of Muhammad mm. okay, mm. Muhammad used to, uh, he used to get closer, but he now used to have sex with them. You get it? He what? He used to, he used to kiss them. Mm. He, he could kiss them, but he could not have sex with them. Mm. Uh, what do you mean, kiss yeah. them? He do he he play with them? Yeah. Mm. yeah. Okay, he play with them. What does that mean? Do he put his penis between their, their legs? No. That's that's sex. Okay, what yeah. if, what, what do you yeah. do you accept the challenge if I show you? If I show you that your prophet you, used to do that? I'm challenging you with. First, first <laughs> you know, Bible, explain. See here we go. You're a coward. You're a potato. You're a potato. Okay, let us go back to our topic. Why Allah okay. He ordered the Jews to take the land of Israel, and why He said this is land assigned to you. This is the question okay. I ask you from the first second this you call me, so which and, is you, the and, you ref, and you refuse to answer, so you switch the topic you upside down. Which, uh, which eye of the Quran is this? You do not know? No, go, 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 go and let me know. No, no, I'm so asking you, go. you do not know, you never heard this before? No, I heard it, I heard this, but you have to tell the chapter in the ayah. Ah, uh, okay. Well, I, I, I'm trying to remember, I do not know, really. Hmm. Do you want to search Google? No, it's not Google, go. Do you want to call a friend? It's not a friend. Go tell me about uh, tell me the surah and the ayah. You are the Muslim, and I am not the Muslim, and you are the one who never heard this before. Obviously, otherwise you wouldn't know heard. it. Of course, I have heard. Okay, this what chapter? What chapter? Do you know at least what chapter? I'm asking you. So you do not know what chapter. Passed. You do not know You're what verse. You know nothing. Me, so I have to go ahead and uh, check what it is. Hmm. Maybe I mean uh, maybe this is the eighth hadith. There you go. Go yes. ahead. Chapter five, verse number twenty-one. Chapter five. So okay. Chapter 5, Surah al -Ma Okay. <clears throat> so now, just to know the background of Revelation and summaries of subject, okay? Mm, background. This initial Surah, uh, like surah al Maida is agreed okay. upon. Surah al Maida is a Madani Surah, okay? <laughs> and also, the last <laughs> long all Medina chapter Surah was Surah so much so that some, some elders have identified this as the last Surah of the Quran itself, okay? And the authority of narrations of from Sayyidina Abdullah ibn Umar and say that now al maida is the last chapter in the quran yeah that's mm. what most of the scholars they agree, agree upon on this oh ah, okay well i will i will a, i will, a, I will a, take a, your word for it surah al maida was revealed to the holy prophet while traveling riding the she camel named Ab, mm. uh, adaba as explained in the introduction of tafsir in volume one you see there, guys this guy he's, he's reading an article he is reading an article i mean i ask you it's about not, the verse not, why are you going to give me all this garbage man that, stop that, doing garbage that, give me the answer i don't care about I'm anything First, you why are your understanding hit the topic and stop who care about where this verse is given and if this is the last no, verse in the quran listen, or the, the first I as don't care said, said, why said, Allah he ordered the Jews to go and kill the Palestinian and take the land. This is the question. Go ahead. Well, surah, uh, surah, surah of uh, Maida and verse number five, right? Is it? <laughs> Stop laughing. Stop being. If you mm. if you don't want to listen to the background of the surah, mm. okay, mm. and you're trying to go ahead and uh, scream like a donkey. Mm. So what's the what's the matter? Of, Did you say uh, a donkey to me? I, Did you say a donkey? <laughs> Did I say to you, if you insult me, I will insult your prophet or not? Did I give you a warning? Okay, sorry about okay. that. Okay, did your but prophet marry a woman? Her last name is Donkey, yes or no? Okay, read that. Uh, no, no, no. Did your uh, prophet marry a woman? Her last name is Donkey, yes or no? Listen. Did your prophet that his last name himself is a dog, yes or no? You, you wanna you wanna read the ayah or not? See, here we go. So don't talk, call me names. I mean, your prophet is a son of a donkey. So the son of a dog, and his wife she is a, son, a daughter of a donkey. And yet you call me do donkey and dog. Don't go there. You have a house made from a glass. Your prophet is a son of a zoo. Now go and answer the, the verse. Why Allah He order the Jews to go and take the land which is called assigned into you, which is the holy land. Go ahead. 
Which eye is this? Here we go. Yeah, I'm asking you that. I yeah. told you, chapter 5, verse number 21. 21, okay. Oh people, oh my people, enter the holy land which Allah has destined for you, and do not turn back, for then you 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 will turn losers. Okay. <clears throat> the saying of Sayyid, this is the saying of Sayyidina Musa alayhi salam in the first 20, 20 verse, which has an introductory remark to the divine command which appears in the following verse 21 in the word. The words, O oh my people, enter the holy land which Allah has destined for you. Which is the holy land? Apparently, commentators differ among about it. Some say, Are you going to read for me an article? Are you going to read for me an article? Stop reading Google, man. Give it's me the article. answer. It's you not, can read, I'm, you I'm, can read. Everybody can tell you. Are you an article? Be a man and tell me, give me, give, give me the cream of, of the cook. What is what is the answer? You can read by your this, on your in your this, eyes this, in your heart. Was, give me the answer. Well, you are very okay. smart, guys. He is very smart. This is in the time of Musa. For sure, it is Musa who said to them that Allah told him. We know yeah, that. Okay. okay. You are saying, why did Allah tell him? You are asking this question. Yeah, why he ordered them to go and kill the Palestinian? Whoever lived there, supposedly the Palestinian, right? Allah, he ordered the Jews to go and slaughter the Palestinian. Why? Palestinians now? You are talking about nowadays. So the, you're not you, talking you, about back then. You, you got to go back. My friend, my friend, my friend. It about. doesn't. It doesn't matter. This is a land Allah he assigned to them. No, it doesn't matter. What a change! What a change! What a change! It's the same change. people. Allah he assigned this land. Okay, show me. My uh, hold on. It, when Allah he said, is it make a difference between if if Palestine at that time and Palestine at this time? They are a human being and they are called Palestinian. Why we can kill them at that time, but we cannot kill them at this time? Explain to us. Listen, Palestinian. That time there were not Palestinians there. Before there, there was Jews. Okay? Ah, and, there was no Palestinian at that. So who are who are, who is the one? So it's not Hamas was not there. I agree with you. Those are Arab. Those are not Palestinian. So who is the one was living there? Who was the one living there? Those are Jews. The, the Jews attacking the Jews. The Jews? So, the Jews, so Allah, He ordered the Jews to go and kill the Jews. Are you talking about? Are you this, saying this is the time of Musa? They said that I know Allah, He ordered Musa to go and attack the land and uh, launch jihad on it and take it. Who is the people who live there and why He want to kill them? Why Allah ordered him to go and kill them? Those, those people are idolaters, they didn't worship Allah. Over okay, there. so if, so, his, so if, if they don't own Jews, okay, Musa took his own Jews back. Back into the those were the Muslims at that time. Okay, Musa took his. They are Jews or Muslims. They are Jews or Muslims. Those were Muslims. Muslims. So why the Quran called them Jews? Why the Quran called them Jews? Why are the Why the Quran called them Jews if they are Muslims? So we call them Jews because what what happened to them was they 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 uh they associated partner with Allah Jalla 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 But but during the time of Musa, during the time of Musa, they are called Jews still in the time. You are like a machine. The, okay. During the time of Musa, Allah He called them Jews. Okay. Okay. Allah, so, so he, they are their name is called Jews, even when they are with Musa. So, how you say to me because they, they start associating with somebody else, Allah called them Jews? This is a false ar argument. And by the way, there's a guy. His name is Mimi Hijab. I don't know if you know him. He said that the Jews for four thousand years they never associate anyone with with the with, with, the, with the only true God for four thousand years since the time of Musa. So, are you saying he's a liar? I didn't get that. Go, go again. There's understand. a guy. His name is Muhammad Hijab. He was debating yeah. a guy. His name is David Wood. And you can okay. watch the video. He said that the Jews for 4,000 years, 4,000 years, they've been instructed, okay. instructed. This is how he said it. I'm just trying to copy the, the, the Islamic way. So for 4,000 years, they are instructed to worship one God only and no one except God. So how you say to me that the Jews they associate with God, other God? If you're a brother, Muhammad Hijab, he says for four thousand years they never you know, was associated you know anyone. The behind Jews, right? Jews, they were first. Uh, so Jews, the first they're under the they're, they're under the uh, ruling of King Pharaoh. If you know that, right? King Jews who? At that time. King who? And when Musa al -Salam, King who? Musa al -Salam, king, Pharaoh. Who, uh, Pharaoh. Is, is that the name of the king? Pharaoh. We call him Pharaoh. Okay, what is the name of the king? There's many pharaoh. Which one? We don't. We don't. We don't, we don't mention. Uh, I don't mention the specific name. I'll mention just the pharaoh. Is or, is no, the, the fact, the fact, the Quran think that his this is his name. So the Quran says the pharaoh as a name. Not uh, the Quran does not acknowledge that there is many pharaohs. Most of the people at that time they will call their own selves pharaoh. Pharaoh. No, 
Uh, only yeah. Pharaoh is a king, is a title for a king in Egypt. There's no other Pharaoh. Don't play king. That's what I'm saying. Okay, those, so those but why the Quran do not do not the know the name of the Pharaoh? The Quran think that Pharaoh is the name. Now, this is not our, our topic. Why okay. Allah, he ordered the Jews to go and take the land? You say it because they are not worshiping Allah. Is that correct? Of course. At, at, okay. At that so time, you are listen, saying to me. So you are saying to me. So you are saying to me now, Allah. Take, okay. Take, okay. Okay. I will go with you. I will go with you. Time, okay. I will go with you. At that time. At that time. At that time. I got it. I got. It. I will go with you. So according to you, if somebody don't believe in Allah, we have the right to take his land and to slaughter him. No. This is what you say. I said to you, why That's Allah what ordered? Saying. What do you mean, Allah? He ordered them. I asked you why Allah he ordered them. I asked you why Allah he ordered them to go. He said at that time those people they were worshiping Allah, so we can take the land and we can kill them. So go, go. so you gotta go back to Surah Surah Al Kafirun. What, what does Allah says says in Surah Al Kafirun? I like Al Kafirun. Are you sure you want me to show Al Kafirun? Yeah, go, go ahead. I, I don't know. I, I don't. I don't think. I, I don't think you will like it. Al Kafirun is the most stupid verse proven Muhammad to be a false prophet. Why? Look at this. Okay, say, Look what Muhammad okay, say says. Okay. Okay. Say. Okay. Okay. Say all these believers. Okay. 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 I will go because uh, this uh, I have a you don't remember it. Do you let me? I, I remember it. Oh. Not I worship what mm. you worship, mm -hmm. like we, what we worship, you, you should mm. that you worship. We don't worship that. Okay, mm. Mm. and not you are worshippers of what I worship. Mm. Okay, mm. and, and not I am a worshipper of what you worship. Mm. Get it? Mm. So if you worship Jesus or someone worship an idol, someone worships a son, we don't worship that. We worship who? We worship, we worship a black stone. Okay. No. And not you are the worshipers of what I worship. And mm. you are not the worshipers of Allah. So don't worship, don't worship Allah. You worship whatever you want to worship. Mm. For you is your religion and for me is my religion. So follow whatever you want to follow. Okay. And let us let, let, let us follow what we want to follow. Yeah. But this is a this is abrogated verse. Abdul, why you are quoting for us? So this is when Muhammad was a potato, he don't have an army. When he have an yeah. army, he changed his mind yeah. and he said, I want to kill you all. Let me get you. But first of all, this chapter proving Muhammad to be a false prophet. Why? Because he said, I worship not what that you worship, but Allah is a, a, a common name between them. And both of them, they worship the family of Muhammad. They worship Allah and Muhammad. He worship Allah. So how he would say, I worship not what you worship. Isn't it the pagan Arab? They worship Allah too. They are mushrikeen. Mushrikeen does not mean they are not worshiping Allah. The fact they do worship Allah, but they have beside Allah intercession. So they have idols, little idols, like the black stone, and they think by kissing it, they are getting close to Allah. So yes, Muhammad and the pagan, they worship the same God. His name is Allah. Number two, he said, I will worship not that which you worship, nor you will worship that which I worship. And this is a false prophecy. Because all those who was he talking to, they became later Muslims. Umar al Khattab was against him. Abu Sufyan was against him. Many of those who they are, uh, Khadim al Walid was against him. So he was saying that to them, but later they became believers. So he made a false prophecy. And then he says, And I will not worship that which you worship. But the fact we know that in the chapter where it's speaking about the satanic verses, that Muhammad he bowed down and he worshipped the idols and he said that the three daughters of Allah their intercession is a must So yes, he did worship what they worship and then he continues saying nor are you will worship which I worship Which is proving that Muhammad have nothing to say. He's repeating the same sentence again to you You have your way to mine. I have mine to you. You have your religion. I have my religion But let me show you how funny and stupid additional to that this verse Imagine I say all those who you reject hummus. I eat not what you eat and you will not eat what I do eat and you will never do eat what I eat and I will never do eat what you eat because you will not do eat what I eat I have my hummus you have yours I mean how is stupid the holy chapter to be from God this is cannot be God this is a guy he is having nothing to say all this all the all the chapter is I don't worship what you worship and you have your your, your religion and I have mine so there is no need for all of this it's nothing but garbage proving to us that Muhammad is a false prophet and later when Muhammad have an army he decided to kill everybody from his enemy and he changed his mind, so this is abrogated. So why you are quoting it for us? Okay, so now you, you, the, the cause of this revelation and whatever you are saying, it's uh, completely false. Mm -hmm. And I, we we Muslims don't agree with whatever you say. Okay, so mm -hmm. now now you have to. Who are you? Who are you to say I don't agree? I'm a Muslim. 
you are you are you are a muslim okay what about we go to the book of asbab and nuzul okay we'll go to the cause of revelation okay okay ibn ishaq reports from sayyidah ibn abbas the walid ibn mughayra as ibn wasil aswad ibn abdul muttalib and umayyah ibn al-khalf approached the messenger of allah sallallahu alayhi they proposed a compromise to him and they affected that he would worship their idols for a year so at that time the kafirs they went to rasulullah sallallahu alayhi and they told them that you should worship all idols for a year mm. okay mm. and they and they worship allah for a year and they mm. told them that we will worship your allah for a year mm. so this is from qurtabi okay mm. According to Ibn Abbas Radran, who is recorded in Tabrani, the pagans of Mecca proposed to the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, mm. peace be upon him, mm. we shall give you much wealth that you will become the richest man in Mecca. So they told him, they will give you wealth and you will become the rich, richest man of Mecca. Mm. Okay? Mm. And we shall give you whichever woman you like in marriage. And they even told him that whichever woman you like here in Mecca, the beautiful woman you like, mm. will give, give you in marriage. Mm. Okay? Mm -hmm. We are willing to follow and obey you as our leader mm. on the condition that you do not speak ill of our gods. So mm. he Muhammad they told Muhammad that you should not speak, obey, obey us, and mm. also do not speak ill of our gods, okay, at that mm. time. Mm. So if you do, if you do not agree to this, then let us agree that you worship our gods for a year, and we will worship your God for another year. Mm. So this is from Mother, Mother, mm. okay? Right. So Did Muhammad is, agree the, with them? Did Muhammad this, agree? This the, Did Muhammad agree that he will worship their gods? Okay, we're, we're reading now, okay? Mm. According to Ibn Sa'd reports said in Ibn Abbas the pagan of Mecca made the following proposal for, for, for compromise. Give me, give me an answer. I mean, give me an answer. Did he agree or not? Did he agree? I'm not going to read the whole thing. Did he agree or not? Did he agree or not? Did he agree with them or not? He did not agree, no. Okay. Read with me chapter 22, verse number 52. Isn't it Muhammad he worshipped down? He bowed down and he worshipped the three daughters of Allah. Did he Muhammad? Did Muhammad he bowed down and he worshipped the three daughters of Allah? Okay, chapter what, what chapter is it? Chapter, chapter twenty two, verse number fifty two. Twenty two. Mm. Chapter twenty two, verse number fifty two. Mm. Omar said, "Like in the beginning, in the Rasul, and when they did that." Okay, so and we sent we sent before you before you mm. a messenger and mm. not a prophet, but when he recited through. He recited through the shaitan in his recitation, mm. but Allah abolishes. But Allah abol what? But Allah abolishes what throws the shaitan. Then Allah mm. will establish. Mm. But Allah abolishes his verses, and Allah is all knowing and all wise. Okay, it, it is saying that we did not send any messenger before you, nor a prophet. But he he faced the situation at that at that when he recited the revelation that Satan ca cast doubts about what he recited. Mm. So Allah nullifies what the sa Satan cast. That Allah makes His words firm, and Allah is all knowing and all wise. Okay. Mm. So that, let us let us see what happened. Let us see what happened. Saying. Okay. You quote for me the chapter one nine one one zero nine. It says that you have your religion, I have mine, and I will not worship what you worship. But what, as we see here in chapter 50, 22, verse number fifty two, okay. Muhammad he bowed down to the three idols of Allah, the three daughters, and he said that uh, the, according to Muslims, that Shaitan he throw in his mouth, and he said the following sentence. In his tongue, he said, "These are the mighty grand grants, the the Qurani, which means the high flying daughter of Allah. Their intercession is hoped for, and when Quraysh heard this, they were very pleased. And then the Prophet he bowed down, and all the pagan with him they bowed down. So Muhammad again is a false prophet. He said, "I worship not what you worship, and you worship not what you were I worship." And later we find Muhammad bowing down." To the idols of Quraysh, and he is not saying only, not only bowing down in front of them, he is saying their intercession is a must. The mic is yours. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm I'm going to read you the commentary of uh, this ayah. Okay. Mm. I'm reading the commentary in front of you. It's in, in the screen. It's a book as Babu Nuzul. Okay. So, min Rasuli wa Nabiya, any messenger of and any. This shows that a prophet twenty uh, verse uh, chapter twenty two and ayah fifty two. Okay. And and the Nabi carried different word Rasul meanings, meaning though there is no consensus as as the precious nature of difference. Mm. For our purpose, it is enough to understand it, is a person whom Allah Taala, Allah 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 Allah, Allah Nabi that Nabi de designated with a mission to reform his people, and who receives his revelation from him. He may receive a scripture, a code of law, or he may he may be commanded to convey a message of an earlier book. And Ali Salam quote. quote of laws. Sayyidina Musa belongs to the first 
to the first Alayhi <laughs> salam. My friend, are you going to read for me a book? I want an answer. What are you doing? Read for me an answer. No, the no, canon. you are reading the whole thing, my friend. Come on, give me an answer. Why Muhammad, he bowed down to the three daughters of Allah. You said to me, the chat of Al-Kafirun is coming from Allah. And Allah is the one who's talking. And he said to him, say, Allah, he's saying, not Muhammad. That I will not, you will not worship what they worship, and they will not worship your worship. But as you see, he did worship what they worship. So Allah so made a false. That, that he go down to the three, uh, it says three in the front of you. Three. It says in the front of you. So the, uh, here we go. It's in the front of you on the screen. And all of them, they okay. bow down except the guy. His name is Walid ibn Mughira. He could not bow down because he is so old. So all of them, they bow down. All of so them, they which, bow down. What, where, what are you reading this from? Though? This is the book of yeah. Asbab in the We can read from different books, but because this is in English, I'm, I'm trying to show people. We can read it in Arabic too. This is the book of Asbab and Nuzul and saying it clearly that Muhammad he worshipped them and he bowed down in front of them and then later is, and later Surah Hajj and Ayah number 52 you are reading that right? Yes. Is, am I correct? Yes and this is the official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan. This is not a private website at tafsir.com. Okay. Okay. So you're a prophet he bowed down to the idols and he worshipped them and he praised the three daughters of Allah which we, because they are very sexy. And he says their intercession is a must. Otherwise, if they are not sexy, why Muhammad saying their intercession is a must? The mic is yours. So you said that he... I'm not saying, I'm not saying. Remember, I'm not saying it's in front of you. I am not saying. He did. I am not saying. This is your Islamic scars. This is your Islamic history. And this is your Who's statement. Mm -hmm. Wait, what's the name of the scholar? This is the book of Asbab al-Nuzul. Al-Imam al-Wahidi. We can change it if you want. No problem. Okay, go to Maraf al-Quran. Go to who? Quran. You read it for us, no problem. But in the front of us, is, is that there's a problem with this one? Listen, for my understanding, Ma'arif al Quran is the easier one to, for the people, for the audience to understand. Is it in Arabic? You get it? Is it in Arabic? It's in English. Uh, this is a moderate thing, right? This is like something written a few years ago. I never heard of this one. What is it called? Ma'arif al Quran by Mufti Muhammad, uh, Muhammad Shafi. What is Mufti Muhammad? Those are the scholars. What Mufti Potato Tomato? Give me Zakir Naik too. What is, what's wrong with you? This is Imam Al Wahidi. We are talking about people who wrote centuries and centuries ago. The 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 first the elder of Islam, not a potato who is going in the YouTube now and making and, and making a, a, a false interpretation, try to defend. When, when, you, when, when you quote for me, you see how come a second ago you said to me when I read from Al Tabari? Did you read from Al Tabari a second ago? No, I didn't give you from Al-Tabari. No, no, you, you from, when you no, go, you I was get, reading from Marif Al-Quran. No, no, no. Before you said to me, you said Al-Tabari. I, I heard you saying the word Al-Tabari. Didn't you say Al-Tabari? Yeah, I did say that. Is okay. It the so, so what's wrong it's, with Al-Tabari? Why don't say to me Al-Tabari? Why don't say to me that the, the, the read scholars? What, what? Who is this guy? So here we go. This is the book of Asbab and Nuzul. It's in English in front of us. <laughs> okay. And even the Quran confirmed the verse you read for me. It says that Allah will take what Shaitan he throw in his mouth. So the Quran confirmed. That shaitan he threw in the mouth of Muhammad. What he threw that the three daughters of Allah, Allah and Al Uzza, their intercession is a must. And he bowed down and they bowed down with him. Except one person was there, he could not bow down because simply he is a, a very old man. He cannot bow down. And he is a kafir too. So what, what make, are the names of uh, the three idols that you were talking about? Allah and Al Uzza, here we go. Allah and Al Uzza and Manad the third. When he was okay. quoting that, the devil. Put in his tongue what he had secretly wished and hoped for and said. These are the might grants, the, the, the Gharaniq, and their intercession is hoped for. Who is the one who said that? Allah. Now, okay. you're Muslim saying that this is not Allah saying the devil, he spoke in the mouth of Muhammad. So, in this moment, in yes, this is says, I'm not saying why you are laughing, respect your prophet, my friend. It says no, the I'm devil, it says, it says, you are just talking out of your mind. it says the devil, it guys, does it say that, or I'm making things? It says the devil, but in his tongue, does it say that? It's in the screen in front of you. So, the devil, he spoke in the tongue of Muhammad. So, Muhammad, in this moment, he became a messenger of shaitan and he is speaking as an ambassador of shaitan, the word of shaitan, delivering shaitan's Quran. And then, because Shaitan he put in his mouth, Muhammad he said the following: He put those words that the Allah the, 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 they are the mighty grants, the, the Gharaniq, and their intercession is hoped for. When Quraysh heard this, they were very pleased. Those are the pagan, the messenger of Allah. Allah bless him, give him peace. Carry a, 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 a cried on recitation until the end. Muhammad did not even notice what he is saying. Of the surah, and he prostrate, and all the Muslims 
uh, uh, who was there and the idol terror protest too. Where let, let me connect. Let me connect you to my uh, Sheikh right now. Okay. Uh, okay. So he will explain this to you in detail. All right. And his name will be Abdul Wadud. So you you you'll have. He's uh, a real Sheikh, or he is uh, you know like a guy who opened a barber shop. Uh, again, you you. you L l l look at your language first. You no, know. I'm asking you. He's a real sheikh. I want to know. He's a real sheikh. Of course, he's a sheikh. Yeah. Okay, so Abdul Wadud, Sheikh Abdul Wadud. Welcome. Go ahead. Okay, I'll I'll, I'll call you. I'll call you uh, in ten minutes. Okay. All right. No problem. Okay. So, guys, he is going to call for us. A sheikh. His name is Abdul Wadud. So we are waiting for Abdul Wadud. As you see. Every statement in the Quran is a joke compare it together You will find that there's something wrong and something stupid how he say I will not worship what you worship and They will not worship what I worship and later he worship And later he bow down and later he praised the three daughters of Allah Right Hello Hello. Yes. Yes. I don't know. I'm fine. Is that Sheikh? Uh... Sheikh Abdul Wadud. Welcome, Sheikh Abdul Wadud. How are you doing, my friend? I'm good. How are you, man? I'm all right. Everything good? I'm very good. So I've been told by uh, one of your students you want to call me and explain to me something about the Quran, if you don't mind. Yeah, yeah. I want to explain it. All right. That's wonderful. So. What about the Prophet Muhammad? He uh, recited that the three daughters of Allah, it is a must to ask them to, for intercession and he bowed down to them. What do you say about that? He never bowed down to them. What he did was mm -hmm. that uh, at the time of, uh, you know, before the Prophet of uh, Muhammad, he's the opponent, mm -hmm. the people, what they were doing, they were worshipping Latin mm -hmm. So, Messenger Muhammad, mm -hmm. Atani, was sent to tell them to not worship Latin Allah okay. and to worship only one Allah. Mm -hmm. But this is not what Islamic source says, my friend. The Quran says in chapter 22, verse number 52, that Shaitan he throw in the mouth of Muhammad satanic verses, and then uh, all the reference says that Muhammad, the prophet of Islam, when he was reciting the chapter of An-Najm, he said. That those are Manat and Allah Al Uzza, the three daughters of Allah, their intercession is a must. And he bow down, and all the pagan bow down behind him. And even the pagan, they said, We never saw a prophet uh, 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 like uh, uh, praising our gods as this before. So your prophet, he bow down, and the pagan, they bow down to the three daughters of Allah, and your prophet, he mentioned their names. Do you hear me shake? As I, as I told you, that at that time, if you know the history of Arab, mm. those people, they were worshipping Latin Uzza at that mm. time. Mm. So Allah was telling them to not worship. Mm. Yeah, I know that. But why Why Muhammad, he bowed down with them? You see, I have a story written by you Muslims, not by me. You see? Okay, bring the, bring the history in front of me so I can see it. Okay, do you see the screen? Do you see my screen? Just wait a minute. My student is working on it. Okay. Okay, this is Asabi Nuzul by Al Wahide. Do you speak Arabic, the Sheikh? Yeah, I do, yeah. Let's see what Okay. Okay, let me highlight for you so you can see it says okay. here, you know uh, So when the messenger he was reciting he revealed to Muhammad uh, To him surat an najm by the star when it saith Surah uh, chapter 53 the messenger of Allah bless him and give him peace recited recited it, but when he reached uh, uh, have ye uh, thought upon the Allah and Al-Uzza and Manat the third the other uh, Chapter 53 verse number 19 to 20 the devil put in his tongue 
that he had secretly wished and hoped for and said these are the mighty grants the Garanik and their intercession is to be hoped and then when Quraysh heard him saying that when Quraysh they heard this they they were very pleased and the Messenger of Allah bless him and give him peace uh, uh, carried on reciting until the end of the surah and then he prostrated and the Muslims followed uh, and they prostrate and all the idolaters they are prostrated uh, there too and those all they were present whether they are uh, believers or disbelievers all of them they bow down together except the man his name is a Walid because he was an old man so your source my friend saying clearly that you're a prophet he worshiped the three daughters of Allah he grant them prayer and he was teaching claiming that Allah taught him to say that the three daughters of Allah they are to worship and ask for intercession what do you say if you look at the uh, the translation right the translation is telling you hmm. the messenger of Allah, Allah bless him hmm. gave peace and care on reciting the end of the surah so that means that he was reciting Quran and he went to such that Allah he didn't do such that to the Latin Uzzah yeah, but he mentioned already already he mentioned that a lot and Al-Uzza three daughters he acknowledged them as their intercession is a must and then he bowed down after at the end no problem that, the, that yes. was the problem no, that was the problem at that time that the mushrikin in Mecca hmm. they were worshiping they were worshiping Latin Uzza. Hmm. and your prophet he worshipped them as you see he, he mentioned their name he was, he was reciting the hmm. verses of Quran okay what he said what he said he said that the three daughters of Allah their intercession is a must right so you're a that prophet was the, that was the must for the mushrik in America yeah but he is the one who said that he is the one he who said, said that was the must for the mushrik in America no 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 so he did not no 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 he did not say it's a must for the mushrikin he was reciting chapter of the Quran he was not reciting what 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 they believe he was reciting Quran chapter of Najm so he was mm -hmm. reciting in Najm and he inserted he inserted in the Najm that the three daughters of Allah their intercession is a must it's, he is not saying don't say that he was saying it's a it's a must for them that is that is not true my friend that is not to fabricate don't fabricate things something your prophet did not say it's not fabricated brother okay. I think you have a lot of questions about Islam mm -hmm. I think you 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 are um, you are questioning Islam by so much that uh, you have read everything mm -hmm. good. So mm -hmm. that's uh, well done for you. Mm -hmm. You have read it, but you have not read it with a scholar of Islam. Mm -hmm. So you need to sit with a scholar and learn from them mm -hmm. to teach you the mm -hmm. Quran and, and Hadith in detail. Okay. So you can know what Quran and Hadith really is about. Mm -hmm. So you're asking me now to go and uh, learn from the scholars. I thought you are a scholar, you are a sheikh. Yeah, that's what I'm saying okay. to so you. So as long as you are a sheikh, why you are changing what is written there? It says that the prophet, he said, that the three daughters of Allah, the Garanik, their intercession is a must. At the end, he bowed down, and all the pagans, they want to bow down together. And not only that, the people of Quraysh, they said, we never heard Muhammad creating our gods as much as good as today. So here we go. He greeted them. He said their intercession is a must. And he bowed down at the end, which means he bowed down for whatever he said. Whatever he said in that chapter, he bowed down and he started worshipping. He said that the three daughters are included in his prayer. He, he pray, he's saying, reciting Quran, and then he says the three daughters of Allah, their intercession is a must. And then at the end, he bowed down. He bowed down for what? For every word he said before he bowed down. So, yes, he bowed down to the idols, the three daughters. And as you see, even the, the Quraysh, all, suddenly all of them together, they are worshipping the same God. And not only that, they said Muhammad he never mentioned our gods as good as today before and this is why people they thought that more Muslims and uh, and the Arab they became united because now they are worshiping the same God and it is Allah and it is the daughter of Allah so don't tell me go and ask the scholars you can you claim to be a scholar and this is a scholar the one is talking here is a scholar by the way this is Asbab al nuzul this is not my book no. mm. The thing is that you need to sit face to face with a scholar and have your question, you know, in front of him. Mm. You are saying in this ayat or the Surah Najar, ayat number 19, that <clears throat> have you ever considered the idols of Latin Uzza? 
mm. and then about the other, the third, and the manat, mm. then is is it that you that he have male and female? He Allah has females, mm. and it's so it's totally unjust division. Mm. And after that, there is nothing but the names you and your forefather have invited. Allah has sent down no authority attached to them. They are the following nothing but conjunction and what their soul desire while guidance from their Lord, Lord, hmm. surely reach them. Yeah, but the, but the question, my friend, the Quran is saying it's now just that just shaitan, yeah, but the shaitan, the Quran, the hadith says, the Quran says that shaitan he throw in the mouth of Muhammad satanic verses, correct? Shaitan was trying to do that, but no, Muhammad no, never listened. No, 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 not trying. No, no, you, my friend, let us be honest. The, 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 the statement in the front of you where it says he was trying, he wasn't trying, he was successful. As you see, it says here the devil he throw in his tongue, he throw already, and your prophet recited that. He did not try, it was successful. Your prophet he said that the, the three daughters of Allah, their intercession is to be hoped for. So he was not a trying, he did. The, when the messenger, read carefully with me, my friend, okay? Read carefully, please. When he arrived reciting Allah and Uzza and Manad, the third, he, the, the devil, let us read together, the devil put in on his tongue what he had secretly wished and hoped for, which means the devil he wished for. These are the mighty grants, the granite, and their intercession is to be helped for. So your prophet, he said, what the devil he put in his tongue said that and everybody heard him that the three daughters of Allah Allah and Manat and Uzza their intercession is a must and hoped for so your prophet recite, recited satanic verses and not only that you will see in the same page you will see that the angel later angel Jibreel came to Muhammad and he said to him those message those verses you recited before is not from Allah here we go at the evening read with me carefully at the evening, Jibreel, peace be upon him, went to the Messenger of Allah, uh, Allah bless him and give him peace, and said, What have you done? You recited to people that which is did not bring from Allah. Glory is to He. And you said what He did not what I did not say to you. So, my friend, don't tell me that Satan was trying. Shaitan was able and he was successful and even Jibreel he came to Muhammad and he said to him what you have done Go ahead my friend answer So if, 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 you, if you know that most of the past year of the Quran that mm -hmm. you know there is not most sometimes they're not recommended by other scholars Uh-huh you, you, you know about this right? What is what is the one you recommend for me as long as this one is not recommended uh, I, would, I would recommend um, my Quran by my student, he started me to make it easy for which one, for which, the, one? which one, which one, which one, by Mufti Muhammad. Uh, this, is a, this is a new, are you Ahmadiyya or something? This is a new, those are really scholars. Do, who are those scholars? Those are not scholars. I never heard of them. So, you are saying to me, they, Imam they like Al Wahidi, Al Tabari, Al Tabari, real Imams are not considered by you, but a guy who was just born yesterday, he made a book, and this is the, the this is the one who will explain the Quran to us. Don't you think that this is a hypocrisy? It's not hypocrisy. So why, how you don't accept the original the scholars? How come now this, this guy, you are calling him Mufti? He learned his religion from who? From those scholars. So how now he can explain the Quran better than them? Better than them. Why? You, you, how, you how, so how, 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 how is what? He is so good. So now what we will do with this? Are you saying that this guy, he, what, what can you read for me what this guy, he said about this verse? Okay. You, okay, go ahead. What your scholar, yeah, he, he said. He's saying that we did not send any messenger Allah says mm. you are not our prophet. He faced a situation that when he recited the revelation, the satanic cast doubts about what he recited. The satanic people or those people who are worshipping mm. Latin Oda. Okay. So Allah nullifies what the satan cast, then Allah makes his verses from Allah is all knowing and unwise. This is an interpretation now? He did not. He did, he, did not he, he did not give interpretation. He's just quoting the verse again. I mean, this is funny. How this can be interpretation? He's just this, this, okay, my friend. Okay, I, I, will, I will go. I will go with this funny interpretation because he did not give interpretation. He did not give interpretation. Secondly, you just admitted that shaitan he cast in the mouth of Muhammad, and Allah will delete it. What Allah deleted from mouth of Muhammad? What Allah deleted? Not send any messenger before you know it doesn't matter it doesn't matter this case this case here is about Muhammad oh, my friend no problem no problem 
don't, don't, my, my friend, each time I talk to you, you start reading from zero. I look like you know we have a machine talking to us. My friend, I'm asking you a friendly, please, friendly. The, the verse saying, the verse saying, and you quote for me, and I heard you that he said that Satan cast, cast. Okay, Satan cast what exactly? Can you quote for us what he cast in the mouth of Muhammad? The Satan cast doubts about what he recited. What he recited? Can you tell me? This is not the question, my friend. This is not the question. You just said Shaitan he cast in the mouth of Muhammad. The question is, what he cast in the mouth of Muhammad? Can you tell me the word? About what he recited? Yes, about what he cast. What, what the Shaitan cast? Allah will take it off, correct? Okay, but what he cast? What the Shaitan said to Muhammad? As you, you said in Surah Al Najm that Latinuza was the was the people of. Of Quraysh, they are worshiping Latinus at that time. This is not the question. So, this is not the question. My friend, I don't know what's wrong with Muslims. The second we ask them a question, they go in panic mood. I'm asking you, friendly, fine, what, fine. what the Shaitan, what the Satan told Muhammad when he was speaking? What Satan made Muhammad, what he threw in his tongue? What is the sentence? Can you quote the, the sentence for us? So the Shaitan, they put nothing in the mouth of Muhammad. They were they, in, the, in the mouth of Muhammad. They were trying to. Uh, put something of Latin Uzzah. What are you are getting this from? I mean, what what do you mean trying? The, the, it says there that he, the, even the Quran says, Shaitan cast, Allah will take it off. Not a trying. Who trying? It is Shaitan he cast in the mouth of Muhammad. Muhammad is from the Satanic people, or he is a prophet. He is a prophet, supposedly. So the, the Quran confirmed that Allah cast in his mouth. Why you are changing the words? I'm asking you, my friend. I'm asking you. I'm asking you. First of all, first of all, when you say to me, you, you hear me? Do you hear me? When you say to me that they are trying, you are you are corrupting the Quran. The Quran says it clearly that Allah will take what Shaitan cast in the Quran, not in the book of the pagan. The pagan is not, they are not following Allah anyway. They don't have a book. Come on. The verse says clearly, whatever Shaitan he cast, Allah will take it off. Take it off from where? From the Quran, not from the book of the, of the pagan. The book of the pagan. They don't have a book. Okay, so that the Quran, the Quran, okay. the Quran, my friend, do you, you, know, you, 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 have, you have first the concept of God? Can you explain the concept of God to us? The concept of God, which one in, yeah. in Islam? No, no, the concept of God uh, of Christians. Why well, you want to change the topic? We'll go because the thing is, at first, you don't know uh, what to follow and what not to follow, really. And you are the one who knows what to follow, what to follow. Yeah. Okay, if you know how to follow and what to follow, why your prophet he kiss a stone? For me, my God, he said, you asked me about the concept of God. It says, don't make images what is in heaven or in the sky and not to worship anything except God. How Muhammad he kiss a black stone? Is that a concept of God to kiss a stone and to believe that it's a holy stone? Is that a prophet of God who says to him that I am going to protect you and you are masoom? And then we see that Muhammad receiving satanic verses. Is that the concept of God to say that God is one? And then you say shahada, which is contained the name of Muhammad and the name of Allah. How that can be one, but yet two on the same line, associating the knowledge of God and the knowledge of Muhammad. You say Muslims, you say Allah and his prophet knows best. You're associating the knowledge of God with the knowledge of a man. How you say that God is one, but knowledge of Muhammad is equal to Allah knowledge. How you say that God is one, but Allah, he wrote the name of Muhammad in his throne. How you say that the name of God and you say Allah is one God. But then you say to me that Allah, he says, if when I take a partner, I will take it from our kind. How Allah is going to take a partner from his kind? Can you answer me? Okay, now the mic is mine, right? Go ahead. Okay, so at first you said the black stone. Mm. The black stone, as if you know, that there was a fight at the time of Quraysh, mm -hmm. where Prophet, peace be upon him, he took all the leaders of the mm. Quraysh and took the stone towards the Kaaba mm. and placed it there. And people would go around the Kaaba, make the of the Kaaba and kiss it. Okay. Right? Okay, so your prophet is following the pagan, you mean? He's just kissing it the same as the pagan before him? So, as you, if you know that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he became prophet at the age of 40. Okay. He, became, he was a Nabi before, from mm. his birth, but he became a Rasul at the time of age of 40. Mm. Okay, when he, was go, when he would go around the Kaaba, he would cast the stone because the, this stone came straight from Jannah. Mm -hmm. As if you know that this stone was whiter, Mm. whiter than the milk and people because people kissing it it became black mm. and because most of the muslims nowadays they kiss it because they kiss it because of for the love of rasulullah mm. okay can i make a comment please can i make a comment okay. can i make a comment
Yes. yes. Okay. So you just said to me that you Muslims you kiss, you kiss it because the Prophet kiss it. But why the Prophet kiss it? Okay. So our Prophet peace be upon him, he kissed it because it was made by Allah in Jannah. Okay. But Even you just said to me, my friend, hold on. But you just world. but you just said to me, but you just said to me, we kiss it just because the Prophet kiss it, which means you are saying we don't kiss it because Allah He made it, we kiss it just because the Prophet kiss it. Everybody heard you. And that is a contradiction because if you are just kissing it because Muhammad kiss it, not because of anything you know the else. Of the Quran, Allah, okay, no, it doesn't say actually at your Allah or your Rasul only. It says at your Rasul or at your Allah, which means obey Muhammad first and then you obey Allah, correct? Okay. So how? If you know how, the, if you know the ayah, Yes. So how? So how you say? How you say so, Muhammad is a prophet when you when the Quran says you have to obey Muhammad first before you obey Allah? So that, that's 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 the command of God. It's a command of God. Comes you have to how I know that this is the command, command of God. If God tells how, you to first follow Jesus and mm, then follow God, my friend, would you, how would I know that this is God? the command of God and why God He says obey a man first and then obey me? Shouldn't say. Obey me only because a man is a sinner and he can do bad stuff. Is Muhammad God? He don't do any mistakes. How you say to you? How he say to you? Obey Muhammad and then obey Allah. And why Muhammad first and then Allah second? How Allah can became second before? And if, you can, if you know that all the messengers of God, they are all Muslim. They don't have any sin. They are, they that, are sinless. That's not that's not true, my friend. Isn't it the Quran says oh. that Allah He forgave Muhammad for the past sin and the coming sin? So are you saying to me Allah He did lie in the Quran? Listen first. Um, well, you wanna listen to me or you have keep on because you're. I'm, listen, I'm listening, my friend, but you are making a contradiction. I have to make a point before you change your mind because it says in chapter forty-eight, verse number two, may Allah forgive to you your sin in the past and your sin in the coming time. So how you say to me Muhammad is ma'asum, but the Quran confirm that Muhammad Allah is, is a sinner? Allah is telling through the mouth of our of Prophet, he's telling us that Allah will forgive the sins of those who accept Islam. No, that's not true. Not true. Not true, my friend. Chapter 48, verse number 2 is speaking specifically about Muhammad. So please, if you are a sheikh, you know, I, ex I accept from you a decency and honesty, not lies. Are you fabricating that, that, that interpretation for the verse, making it about the Muslims? This is about Muhammad himself, not about anyone else. Why you are, my friend, changing the mean? I don't want to say the word liar. I, I, you know, I promise myself to speak to your respect, but this is absolutely false. What you said to me, this verse only about Muhammad. Who are you talking about? Chapter forty-eight, verse number two. Forty-eight, verse number two. Okay. Hmm. Al-Fatih. <laughs> Take it easy, my friend. Drink some water, please. So, if we, if we go back to the the history of this surah, this surah has been revealed when when Mecca was Fata, when Muhammad he came back to Mecca. And he, he forgave all the people of all the people who did all the bad things to Muhammad, peace be upon him, at that time. Yeah, but this is about your prophet. The Quran confirmed that he is a sinner. So don't tell me that this is about the believers, not about Muhammad. So now we correct the thing. Thank you very much. So the Quran confirmed that Allah is me forgive the sin of Muhammad and his in the in the in the past and the one to come so how you say to me that the prophet protected but yet he is a sinner and the same time that would be a contradiction because how he said to us obey muhammad he is a sinner obey him obey him whoever obey muhammad obey me but now i have to obey a sinner and that will make me obeying god but if you are a sinner that means i have to obey any sin you do because you are a sinner you are not perfect are you muslims saying that muhammad is a perfect god but he's a man we're not saying that he's a god. Okay. We're saying the prophet of Allah. Okay, but you are saying to me, but you are saying to me, he's masoom. What masoom mean? Masoom does but not does not make does it. not make mistakes, correct? Yes. Okay, but how he, he don't make mistakes, but he do sin. Is sin is a big, big mistake. Sin is a big mistake, not a mistake. <coughs> as we know that prophets, mm. be upon them, as you know that in you know, on the Quran used to come on them, the wahi, mm. they used they 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 used to go into a state. Sometimes the wahi will came come to them. Mm. Uh, in a, at the time where, where when they will they will be on a horse, sometime in the journey, sometime you know, in in any time they could they could come to them from from Allah. Sometimes so if there was a problem, 
So if you really look into the Quran and you have so many questions, I know that you, you anytime if, if I speak and speak, you will keep on asking and asking and asking questions. And, you know, we are not asking so questions. We, we are in America and the topic, my friend. To, we, me and you, mm. my friend, mm. we need to sit together. Mm. We need to sit together and inshallah mm -hmm. we need to sit together and inshallah mm -hmm. allah will help you understand and mm -hmm. understand the wisdom of the quran mm -hmm. and what what is the why why everything why why everything was revealed in this way and why how the ayahs of the quran was revealed and how the quran was compiled together mm -hmm. and inshallah you will have a better understanding so, you, so my friend inshallah you will not answer me inshallah you have no answer inshallah you are telling me I'm, i cannot answer you yeah, uh, then, then answer me, my friend. Then answer me. Why you are giving me this speech about Inshallah, Inshallah? I have a question for you, and you are trying to avoid it. Inshallah, you will not answer me. Inshallah, we will sit together. You know, you know, my friend, we will not sit together ever. I mean, I don't know where you live. I don't know who you are. So, what do you mean, Inshallah, we sit together? I want an answer. How you say to me that the Prophet is masoom, protected? Do you live in New York? No, I don't live in New York. I live okay. far away. No. Uh, but anyway, we, we, we do not need to sit together. Here we go. We are talking. Everybody can hear us nice and, uh, and clear. So the Quran confirmed that Muhammad is a big time sinner. So how the Quran says to us, if you obey Muhammad, you obey me. But Muhammad is a sinner. How I can obey God by obeying a sinner? It's like, imagine I am going to obey a guy. You just told me he is a sinner. And the Muslims, uh, sorry to say, they lie to us. They say Muhammad is protected by God. He don't do sin. But as you see the Quran in many verses, by the way, this is one of them. Confirm that Muhammad is a big time sinner. And not only that, what kind of God he gave a permission and license for sin to Muhammad. He said to him, I forgive your past and your coming sin. What is that? Since when God, he gave a license for sin. Why Muhammad, he can sin as much. He has he, even sin for the future. He will forgive it. What does that mean? So if you know, if you believe in God, right? Do you believe in God so yourself? If, if, if you believe in God, if, if you know that God, even today, if he, he says, if the day of judgment happens today, right? And God says, I want to enter all the people who are, who are making shirk against me. I'll, I'll make them enter into Jannah. Would you question him? It's not about the question. I question why not? I mean, I question if something doesn't make sense. If there's a contra isn't it the Quran said, my friend, isn't it the Quran says why they cannot understand the Quran? If this book is not from God, you will find a lot of contradiction. So Allah, He told you, He told you that if you, if you, you know, this is how you know that this is book is from God or not. So He said, yes, question me in this case. I know in chapter five, verse one hundred one, it says, ask not questions. But here, Muhammad is trying to silence anyone who asks me question. But the Quran says, Allah yet the Barun al Quran. Can they understand the Quran? If this book is not from God, they will find another, another contradiction. And this is a contradiction. How you say to me that Muhammad is masoom, and then you find you say to me Muhammad is a sinner. How you say to me that I have to obey a Muhammad, and then you say to me Muhammad is a sinner. Who are you say to me if you obey Muhammad, you obey God? But you say to me that Muhammad is a big time sinner to the point may Allah forgive your sin is not even guaranteed. In chapter two, chapter four, verse number eighty-two, it says. Why they will not uh, uh, then bounder the Quran if it had been from other than Allah, they would have found in their in much uh, a lot of contradiction. So the Quran is giving me the 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 the, uh, the, the, the way uh, uh, to discover his book from God or not. So and the same method I use it in the Quran, it proven to me Quran cannot be from God. Okay, brother, you you have. Really, really good questions, and, and inshallah, we could we will answer the, all those questions for you. All right, my friend. Uh, okay, uh, so uh, as you as you know that why was Adam and Eve? They, why why were they taken out of? Why? Why were they taken out? Of why? Jannah? Why? Uh, you know why? Why did the dev, devil became the cursed one? Do okay, you know why I, did the devil became the cursed one? No, no, my friend. Why Adam and Eve was taken from heaven according to Islam? So. According to Islam, why Adam and Eve they were taken out of, uh, out of Jannah mm. because the waswasa, a shaitan, mm. they, the waswasa shaitan happened to Eve, and mm. because when he, the waswasa shaitan happened to Eve, Eve told told his husband mm. Adam mm. that let's go and eat from that tree, and that tree was forbidden for them to eat. When mm. they ate from that tree, what happened? Mm. They became naked and they were sent. Mm -hmm. Who is the face of this earth where mm -hmm. they had to live until now? We, we are from the lineage of Adam and Eve. Mm -hmm. But this and is my friend, this is a contradiction for what your prophet said. Your prophet said that Adam he commits sin because Allah he wrote for him his destiny to commit sin. 
and Adam, he have no choice. Destiny, yes, that was his destiny. So, okay, so how Allah, that, why Allah, if this is his destiny, how Allah is going, how you just blame the shaitan that he is the one who did whisper in Adam, but the fact it was destiny written by Allah, so the whole scenario written by Allah, Allah, he ordered shaitan to whisper, Allah, he ordered Adam to obey, Allah, he ordered Adam to sin, and then Allah, he punished Adam to sin. So how we can blame shaitan for that? If Allah is the one is behind this conspiracy, and he is the one who did that to Adam, Adam is a victim. So if you know the history of shaitan, when Adam was created, and 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 the shaitan, when Allah told him to prostrate to Adam, mm. what did shaitan say? Well, well, first of all, why Allah want to say to to uh, to shaitan to protest? He did not even order him to protest. Uh, protest. Can you, nasty, can you, no, no, my friend, nasty. no, no, my friend. In front of everybody, with uh, with my respect in a friendly way, I challenge you to show me where Allah He ordered shaitan to prostrate to Adam. Okay. If you show me that, I will shave my twenty foot mustache. Okay. Go ahead. Wait a minute. Hmm. Wait a minute. Hmm. You want me to help you? We can go to chapter two, verse number thirty-four. Okay, brother. Wait a minute. Hmm. Do you feel like calling a friend or somebody? Brother, yes. We I'm doing my I'm doing I'm going to my books and I'm looking from my books, okay? All right. <clears throat> I would like you, by the way, to read my books in case you like to educate yourself. You can get them from Amazon.com. Yeah, brother, I will read your books too. Yeah, you can you can search in Amazon for Christian Prince, and you can find you my. You have you have all your questions in your book. Oh, I have answers for the questions, not only questions. I answer my the questions in my books. Yeah, sure. Go ahead and read them. Okay. Okay, brother. So as you see, there's nowhere it what says that Allah he ordered shaitan to bow down. No, nowhere it says order. He did not order shaitan to bow down. This is a mistake. Hmm? Surat Al-Hijr. Surat what? 15. I am number. Surah 15. Okay, verse number 31. Yeah. Okay, but he did not say he did not say he ordered shaitan. It says he ordered the angels. This is a mistake. So this is a mistake in the this is a mistake in the Quran. The Quran is making a mistake, a very, very bad mistake. Because if Allah he ordered the angels to prostrate, why he accepting shaitan to bow down? So if you know at that time shaitan shaitan was one one of the 
person amongst the jinn he was he was amongst the jinn that he was accepting all the messengers and he was listening to them no my friend when i say i order all the cats to say meow why i'm expecting the dog to say meow too he is not a cat the quran is so clear it says allah he ordered all the angels to prostrate but Iblis he did not but Iblis is not an angel you see for the Christian they believe that shaitan is a foreign angel you Muslim don't believe in that you believe he's a genie correct so Allah he ordered the angels why he is expecting shaitan to bow down this is not even right if I say if all you, if I say you know all my, 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 my friend was there with the so angels what so what so it doesn't matter angels, my friend angel okay let us say let's say he was there but if I am saying all angels bow down, why I am upset from someone he is not an angel for not bowing down? That doesn't make sense. If I say so all it, all let's, girls let's, go let's out, say today, let's say today, mm. okay, you have you have two uh, two friends. Let's say two friends, right? Mm. And you both of them they're really close to you. Mm. Okay, one one is Abdul and one is Abdullah. Abdul and Abdullah, good good names. Okay, good good good, good names, right? Mm. So if you have two names, Abdul and Abdullah, mm. if you tell Abdul, you know, both of them are really close to you, both of them, you call them Abduls, mm. okay? Because they are so close to you, you just call them Abdul, mm. okay? Mm. You tell Abdul, come over here. If one comes, another doesn't come, how you feel? Mm. But my friend, you forgot that Shaitan is not a Abdul and angels are not a Abdul. They are two kinds of creatures. They are not both a yeah, human. Kind of the both have no, 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 no. Listen, they you are said two. you will shave your mustache mm. if I tell you that Shaitan did not did not make such them. No, I, I know. I said to you, if you can show me where Allah He order the Shaitan to bow down, where He ordered Him, He never ordered Shaitan. He ordered the angels. So read Ayah number twenty-eight from twenty-eight, and remember when your Lord said to the angels, "I'm going to create a human being from a sound giving clay made okay. of the king mud." Mm. Then. And when I form him perfect and blow him my blow in him of my spirit, mm -hmm. you fall down before him prostrating. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the angels prostrated all together. Yeah. But why why, he, why he's upset? He was there, but he didn't prostrate it. Because if you have all the people standing there, you tell them to bow down, and there's one person who's not my friend. Down if to, I if I did not if I say everybody put, uh, bow down, then that would make sense. But he did not say everybody bow down. He says, وَإِذَا قَالَ رَبُّكَ لِلْمَلَائِكَ إِنِّي خَالِقٌ بَشَرٌ مِنْ صُلْصَالٍ مِنْ حَمَئٍ مَسْنُونٍ So he was talking from the beginning to the angels, and you are the one who quoted that verse for me. Verse number 28. So Allah, he was speaking from the beginning only to the angels. So the angels are listening now. The rest is not in the business to listen. If I say, I say to the angels, that's mean I'm speaking to the angels. And then he said to them how he created Adam. No problem. And then he said, bow down. So all the angels fall in prostrate because he ordered the angels to bow down. So why he is expecting Iblis to bow down? He did not order Iblis to bow down. He, he ordered the angels. And you can see the same story because your prophet, he keep repeating himself. Chapter 2, verse number 34. Chapter 7, verse number 11. Chapter 15, 32. Chapter 17, verse number 61. Chapter 18, verse number 50. Chapter 20, verse number 16, 116. 26, 95. Uh, 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 sorry, chapter. Uh, so it it uh, it's all over. Chapter thirty eight, verse number seventy four. But all of them confirming go, one thing. Go to go to surah seven. Surah seven, okay. Ayah number eleven. That's wonderful. Allah he can again. He ordered the angels to bow down. He did not order iblis to bow down. First judo illa iblis. Okay, my friend. He but he was speaking to that to the angels. And we created you then my friend does, does it say does, does it say my us, friend my friend you said you said you speak arabic read it read the verse for me in arabic please thank you very much by the way you have a nice voice i'd like to hear you sometime if we have a party my friend here it says we said to the angels he did not say that to all he said to the angels only so how you say to me read that verse because he or order iblis he did not order iblis so we say to the angels bow down to adam and they did bow down except the bliss he did not but this is a mistake here if he is Iblis, is not one of the angels, how you expect him to bow down? That is the most silly statement ever. 
if I say all cats get out then I will I cannot be upset from the dog for staying home I said cats cats and dogs are not even the same so the Quran confirm that genies are made from fire angels are made from light they are two different creatures and the word of your God Allah is so clear he said I ordered the angels then told the angels fall and prostrate did you see the name of Iblis here no so why he is expecting Iblis to bow down so this is a clear mistake in the story you now, go to the next verse what 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 does Allah ask he did not okay yeah, yeah but but you see okay yeah but, okay well, here we go so he said to him what what uh, what make you you know like this is the, the funniest what stuff about muhammad from yes. when I you, okay he said, I'm better than him. okay and I'm, I'm, oh thank you very much for mentioning this this is a proven islam to be a pagan religion because the first one who ordered angels to bow down to a man it was allah allah obviously is a pagan god he should not allow anyone to bow down to Adam to human Adam is a human at the end of the day How you ask them to bow down to Adam if he is just a man? So the first one who started paganism worshiping someone not God bowing down because bowing down is an act of worship And the same time he said to him why you are not bowing down Iblis he's smarter than the God of Islam. He said to him why I want to bow down to him What I did if you read the story my friend and you're supposed to I'm assuming you are a sheikh it was the angels who accused Allah saying to him are you going to create someone he would do mischievement so shaitan the poor shaitan he did not even open his mouth he did not say he would do mischievement he was not involved in the story so Allah he said to the angels okay I'm going to get you busted I'm going to teach Adam uh, all the names and then uh, he brought them and he said to them okay Adam before he brought Adam in front of them and he told them I will bring the things in front of you and I want you to recite the names They said to him Allah only you you know is only we know only what you taught us and then Allah He said to Adam okay Adam tell them the names and then Adam started reciting zucchini potato tomato etc And this is how Allah he proved that he is all knowledgeable and the angels are wrong So the whole story is about a fight between Allah and the angels So what the poor shaitan have to do with this and then Allah he proved to them that because he named the zucchini and the tomato and the potato the names supposedly that would mean his god which is very silly because if i have a dog and i call him susu and i ask you what is the name of my dog and you say to not to me i do not know that does not mean i'm god i'm the one who gave him the name what about we do with vice versa the opposite way what about the angel he asked them okay name it give it names and don't tell me the names and i will tell you the names which means i know the unseen so your god here is fabricating a story muhammad and he is coming with a funny story he the angels fighting with allah and then he expected that Iblis and then Allah he ordered the angels to bow down to Adam because they say that he would do mischievement and then Allah he says to Adam that to Iblis why you did not bow down this is the most silly funny story ever I heard in my life go ahead okay brother so you as you know that that uh, Iblis was Iblis his name at that time was Azazil 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 you know okay. about it? I know I know about that. This is your prophet. He took it from the from the legion of the Jews okay. and, and the legion of the Jews if you go to the book It's called the book of Enoch, which is a false book You will see that there's 21 angels one of them is Azazil, Azazil and, and Muhammad is copying from the Jews. No problem. Go ahead Okay, mm. and by the way, where do you get this name from where it says that his name at that time? It was Azazil. Where do you get this name uh, from? Brother, first first you have, I have to clarify your your misunderstanding. Mm, why? Okay, listen first listen you're yeah. saying first if God created you, mm. okay, God created you and God tells, gives you an order to do this, do this, would you do it or not? If God created me and ordered me to do that? To do something. Well, depend like if I am, if I'm a, I'm a, if I'm a, if I'm a, told you to go and pick up that stone, uh, pick up that tree, take out that tree, dig, dig that tree, mm. would you do it or not? It depend because if I am a, if I'm a believer, I will do it. If not, I will not. Yeah, that's what that's, that's thank you so much for that. So if you are a believer, you would do it. If mm. you're a believer in God, let's say Jesus, Jesus is upon him, he came today, he told you mm. that um Mr. Christian, mm. let's let's go and kiss this stone or kiss this tree. Would you do it or not? Okay, did did so, Allah did Allah say to Muhammad kiss a stone? You you are the one who told me that the Arab is, I'm just giving an example. My so. friend, you are the one who said to me that the Arab before Muhammad used to kiss the stone. So you're a prophet kissing the, the same as the Arab pagan Arab they kiss the stone. He's worshiping the same God, correct? Wait a minute, brother. So you, you first something uh, my 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 example was to, to you once hmm. that if 
Jesus come today and tells you to prostrate to this tree, mm. would you prostrate or not? If Jesus he told me to a tree? He told you a tree. No, I will leave Christianity. This, this is an example. Yeah, I'm, I'm telling you, if he, if he said that to me, worship a tree, to bow down to a tree, I will leave Christianity. So why would you leave Christianity if you believe because in that, that Because God? he cannot be God. He cannot be God then because he is worship, asking me to bow down to idols. This is not cannot he, be from he God. Try, he's trying to check you if you're obeying him or not. No, no, my friend. God will not it, 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 it test me by giving me an order to do sin. This is false uh, argument. So you are saying to me if that your God, today, Allah, your God, Allah, your God, Allah, he wanted to prove that he is God. He ordered you to kiss a stone. That's mean he's a he's a shaitan. You know, isn't it you? Is it you know? It's like okay. Is, so, isn't it you? Else, now my topic to you is something. I'm I'm staying somewhere else. You're going somewhere else. I'm telling you mm. that if Jesus came today and tell you to prostrate to a tree, try to check if you are if you are obeying him or not. No, but you said I will not. not I will not. not I will not obey him because that means he is the Dajjal. He is the false Messiah. He is maybe Muhammad. There's no way Jesus will order me to uh, to go okay, to. I have another question from you. Go give me that. Try try today, something better. A man, a man comes uh, comes comes down to you. Mm. In one hand he has he has Jannah. In the second hand he has fire. Mm. And this guy he can he can kill and he will bring the person back to life. Mm. This guy can make a person poor and rich. Mm. And this guy claims to be Jesus. Would you believe it? No. Because the Lord he said to me test the spirit. I have to examine it. So if he teach me false teaching, we don't only go only because somebody, the Messiah, he said that there is false prophet and false teachers will come after me. And even he says, not everyone says to me, God, God will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will. And then they said to him, well, isn't it us? We did cast demon and we did miracle in your name. So people, they will come and they make miracles, but they, they can be false using the name of God. So my friend, that is not the proof that this is Jesus. The proof is his ethic, his teaching, examine the spirit. The Spirit of God is holy. Your God cannot be holy. And you are the one who just a second ago, you said to me that the black stone was sent from heaven. What kind of God will teach that there's a stone sent from heaven and that, what, that make it holy? By the way, you are wrong about that because according to your Islamic books, the black stone became black. It's it only because of sin. According to your Islamic books, the black stone because be, became black because women, they used to touch their vagina with their blood when they have period and they place their hand inside the stone and that is the sin how me it make it you know because women at that time they believe if she is not getting bread net obviously Allah Baal is upset and he is not making her bread net so what she do she go around the stones around the Kaaba naked men and women they go naked and you know that that the Arab before Muhammad even in the time of Muhammad used to go naked around the Kaaba and then the women she placed her hand in her vagina and she put it in the wall and in, in, in the in the no, black stone you, you are explaining the Arab before Yes, but, uh, but 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 this is what Muhammad he called it from the Arab. You said to me that Allah he said that this is a black stone from heaven. But you know you 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 are trying to ignore what you Muslim says. This is not even the Arab what they say. The, uh, this is what the Muslims believe. Let me show you, my friend. Here we go. This is okay. Tafsir al Hawi. You can you can see the screen, right? Okay. Oh, yeah. I see okay. okay. Tafsir al Hawi. It says that this is your Imam saying. And Gabriel, he brought the, the black stone from the from the sky. And it says that uh, Abu Qubais, the, there's a mount next to Mecca. I don't know if you've been there before. Next to it, a small mount, it's called Abu Qubais. The Muslim believe that Abu Qubais hold the black stone inside his belly during the, 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 the flood of Noah to save it from being drift by the flood because the flood of Noah covered all the earth, including the Kaaba. And then when the flood is over, so the black stone came over. And then it was hiding during the, the flood of Noah, and it was a, a white pearl from heaven. And when the blood of the women from period touched it during the pre-Islamic of ignorance, it became a black. Am I lying, my friend? Or this is your books? Okay, brother. If you know the history before before Islam came, the people what they do to it just before Islam, you get it? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. This is a, this is a stone inherited from the pagan, and Muhammad adopted the same as he did with as Safa al Marwa. Isn't it as Safa al Marwa? It was a practice of the pagan before Islam, and then the Muslims they refused to practice, and then Muhammad he said to them, "Don't you know that Allah He just gave me a verse saying that as Safa al Marwa is a from." The, the the ritual of Allah. How in the world the Safa and Marwa is from the ritual of Allah? Of Allah? From, Allah from Allah, because if you know the the mother of Ismail, when 
she put her baby on the floor and she was looking for water and because the baby was crying and she had no food, no milk in her chest. Hmm. So she would go to one month and look for water and then walk to the, and walk to the other <laughs> month and look for water okay. to see if anyone, any caravan is coming. Hmm. Okay, my friend, is that to make it holy? I mean, this is the most silly answer ever I can hear with my respect to you. So if a woman, her name is Hajar, she go to three, two months, that make it, we will make it a ritual of love. Yeah, question, question, listen, brother. Hmm. Your problem over here is that your belief in God is not not strong you really? your belief your belief is mostly psychologically your mm. your questioning is mostly mostly scientific you you want to try to prove everything logically scientifically mm. where with god everything is not proven scientifically. my friend and i am i am proving to you from your islamic books what you said to me about the safa marwa is false because if you go to your islamic books and you will see that there was two idols for two men a man and a woman they have sex and because they have sex, the Arab believe that Allah He cursed them and He made them about idols. The era of Ibrahim, no, it has nothing to do with Ibrahim. Ibrahim, he, he never been Ibrahim, he never been in the Kaaba. This is the fiction of, of Muslims. There is no way Abraham will go there. And by the way, if Abraham he went there, why he left? Why he did not die there? I mean, how in the world this guy he went all the way and Allah he ordered him to build the Kaaba or to rebuild the Kaaba? Two kids. One kid is Haq and the second kid is Ma'il. Mm. He's that. Okay. From that you know that he has two kids, one is Ismail and one is Haq. Okay, and Ishmael, Ishmael is from where? Ishmael is from, he's from the, he's the son, one of the son of Ibrahim. Okay, who is his mother? Who is his mother? His mother is Hajar. Okay, Hajar, so she is an Egyptian, right? Yes. Okay, Abraham is from where? Abraham Abraham is from where we're going to I'm trying to explain you are saying that it was a picnic worship, worship but it's not a picnic worship it okay my friend my my friend even if you know even if you know that the the the, the, the Jamara in uh in uh Mena where people go on the hashtag they do the Jamara hmm. well, do you know why why people do Jamara over there because this is from the pagan belief that believe that there is a shaitan he have a house there brother brother it's not a big belief it's a big belief listen at the time of prophet ibrahim mm. when prophet Ibrahim saw a dream in a dream he saw that he was slaughtering his own son mm. okay he was slaughtering his own son ismail and when he was taking ismail in his with him the satan he came he came to him and uh, he came to him in a form of he came to him in a form of a big shaitan then a medium shaitan then a small shaitan mm. but ibrahim and ismail both they rejected them mm. they rejected shaitan they thought to them in stone okay uh, may i ask you please right. where do you get the story from what was so sad to ibrahim mm. that that the dream that you saw is not true don't follow the, the dream even the shaitan told ismail that don't follow the dream it's not true Okay. So, so you are saying to me that the dream, the dream uh, Abraham he saw to slaughter his son is from Shaitan. It's not from Shaitan. It's, it's from the, Allah. The dream, that, the dream that he saw okay. was from Allah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. You said to me that Shaitan he came to him as a big Shaitan and a small Shaitan. In three different forms. Hmm. Different form. Then, what is the form? What is the form? The first form is, is on big, bigger form. The second form is medium. The third is, and the third one is the small. What okay? is the form? What is the form? What is the form? He's a shaitan. Is a, if you know shaitan is jinn. Okay. He would come in different shapes mm. to try to put waswasa in the heart of Ismail. Okay. So shaitan he come in different form. Not follow the dream. Not follow the. Okay. Kind of Okay, so, true. Is it true? Is it true that Shaitan he come to to uh, to the pro to Prophet Abraham, and he was trying to burn him by coming as a lizard? So, brother, let me tell you, it, it, you are going back to the stories of Ibrahim and You are you are the only one who mentioned that to me because I'm, I'm trying to show you. I'm trying to show you. I'm trying to show you that Islam is nothing but fictions. How in the world you want me to believe that? Shaitan, he became a lizard, and then he started blowing wind at at Abraham, and the purpose is to burn him alive. How in the world do you want me to believe that your God is saying something really real, and yet uh, a little lizard, Salamander, he is burning Abraham by blowing wind at him? So if you know that Shaitan from day one is the enemy of all human beings, mm. but a Shaitan is a Salamander. 
I'm not saying it's Salimandar. Well, your prophet, he said so. But your prophet, he said so. Your prophet, he said so. Are you against what your prophet said? You know what, what I'm saying. Listen to me first, then mm. we'll go what our prophet is upon himself. Mm. What I'm saying is the shaitan from day one, he's our enemy. Mm. You know, you believe that? Mm. Yes or no? I believe. What's again? Do you believe that shaitan devil, he is from day one our enemy? Of all human beings, yes, the enemy. No, I believe Allah is the real enemy because the Quran says that the one who Allah he deceived, no one can guide. So, shaitan is not a problem. If shaitan misguide me, I can be guided by someone. But if Allah deceived me, nobody can guide me. So, the number one enemy is the real deceiver, as Allah. Shaitan is just a victim, the same as what your prophet he said about Adam. Adam he commits sin why because Allah he wrote in his destiny that you will commit sin so shaitan is just an employee for Allah he do what Allah told him to, to make people commit sin so why you are blaming shaitan when the fact I not made him an employee if you know if you go back to the ayahs okay what, when Allah asked him why didn't you prostrate to shaitan uh, when Allah asked Iblis why didn't you prostrate to Adam hmm. what did he say he said that you, you, may, you, you may okay here we go here we go okay you, you just to prove to me my point because Allah is ordering the angels to bow down and this is shirk because how in the world do you order someone to bow down to a man and you are yet God but it's the order it's the order of the God it's not the order so Allah of so, has, so Allah is the us, so Allah is the first mushrik the first one he taught no problem no problem no problem the first one who, who taught a shirk according to you according to the Quran the first one who taught shirk is Allah. He ordered everybody to bow down to a man. Thank you very much. The secondly, you, you, the, 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 secondly, my friend, let me answer you. Secondly, you said, Shaitan, he said to him, why I'm going to bow down for him? And he's right. I mean, why? Shaitan, he commit no sin. He did not do anything wrong. And yet Allah went on to bow. He is not even part of the conversation. It was the angels arguing with Allah. So why he get angry from Shaitan? Number three, number three. Shaitan is saying to him, you created him from mud, I created me from fire. And now you are saying to me that Allah will send Shaitan to fire to burn in hell? That is, that's crazy. He's, he's, he's made from fire. And number four, you're a prophet, he said in the hadith, that Adam and Musa, they have an argument. And Musa says to Adam, oh Adam, you are our father. You de deprived us and caused us to come out of paradise. Adam said to him, you are Musa. Allah chose you for his speech. And wrote the Torah for you with his hand. Do you blame me for what for doing deed which Allah had decreed that I should do 40 years before my creation? And then your prophet he says, So uh, uh, Adam he uh, refuted uh, uh, Musa's Adam he refuted Musa's three times as usual. So as you see here, Adam he's saying to Musa's, Can you blame me for the sin which Allah he wrote for me? And I have to do, I should do, I have no choice. So why we are playing the devil? The devil is a poor guy and Adam is a poor guy. The real one we can blame here in this case is your God Allah. He is the one who wrote the scenario. Okay, Adam, I will make you, I will force you. I will force you to commit sin. So Adam have no choice. He forced shaitan to commit sin. He ordered shaitan to be the enemy of man and to commit sin. And he ordered Adam to obey shaitan. And now we have a sinner. His name is Adam. So in the debate here, you see in the front of you, and this is Sahih, a, a Sahih Hadith, where your prophet agree that Adam was right and Moses was wrong. So how you can say to me, who is the biggest enemy to, to mankind? I say, it is Allah. Because if I am Adam, I will be now crying for the unjust. Allah, he made me do sin and yet he punished me and he kicked me out of heaven. But it was him who forced me. Brother, so you, your question back, go, we'll go back to the well, Shaitan didn't uh, make, made the such the prostration. Okay, mm. go back there. Just wait a minute. What do you want to answer about this one? You don't want to answer about Allah, He is ordering uh, about, about your prophet explaining that Shaitan and Adam are victims of Allah crime. Okay, brother. So I was trying to I was trying to tell you that we should go back. So let's say today, President Trump, being that because I live in America today, he did he made the shutdown today. Okay, he made the shutdown for more than now it's the second month that he did. Okay, hmm. can you can anyone stop him to? Oh, can anyone tell him to open the government if he doesn't want to? So you are can saying anyone, to me, your God. Can, can anyone uh, just listen first? Okay, I'm I'm I'm, 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 I'm so you, you, you said to me, can anyone? Then we'll go back to okay. the world. So you are saying to me that your God is evil. Uh, the same as a Trump, he decided, even as Trump now, brother, and he decided to shut brother. down. 
So what is what is comparing to? I mean, uh, can you? Who cares if I can or not? If he is so evil, he is so powerful. Does not change the fact that he is evil. So you are saying to me, we have an evil God who make us commit sin, and we have no but choice but to obey his sin. Around, you are keep on interrupting what I'm saying. No, I am not. You are not letting me talk. I am not, my friend. I, I am. I'm just having a conversation with you. We're having tea and coffee together. Take your coffee. You are the one who mentioned to me Trump, and you are saying to me, "Can you stop him?" So you are saying to me, "We can't stop Allah." So Allah is very evil, very powerful, but we cannot do anything about it. What we can do, but yet that does not change the fact that this is not just and this is not fair. So first, what you gotta do is first, brother. I recommend you mm. to first learn what God is in Islam or in Christianity. Christianity first learn that Christianity uh, first of all our if God Jesus, our, if Jesus our, our, tell you mm. if Jesus tell you right Jesus tell you do mm. this would you do that like I told you prostrate I, to the I told you I, if I, you're obedient or not. I told you many times if he told me to, no. if you order me to no. do wrong I will do I will not do wrong if he told me to do wrong that's mean that's mean brother, my friend that's my friend no 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 this is not a punishment this is not a punishment why he's why he's punishing Adam Adam he is forced to commit sin as you see this is not a punishment why in the world you force me to do sin and then you punish me for committing sin and then you kick me out of heaven for saying to me you all commit sin that is the most crazy argument the one who should be kicked out of heaven but is are allah you, are you an atheist my friend i am a christian i am believer more than you you believe in a black stone i believe in the true god i don't believe in kissing stones black, i condemn con con wrong conception of Islam. my yeah, friend you, you are the one who have no answer as you see how in the world allah he judge adam for committing sin when adam is his sin is written 40 years before his creation how we can say to adam you are a sinner if allah is the one who decide his sin and he made him commit sin where is justice where is god so god you, is about can, justice can you, can you change it no Oh, so you are saying to me, Allah is evil. We cannot change him. Thank you very much. I'm not saying Allah is evil. You just That's say what that. He, said, he can do anything to you. He okay, can make you okay. He can make so, you a but, can make but, you a donkey. He can make you turn your No day. problem, but but that proves that Allah is evil. Doesn't matter. You are saying to me, we cannot change it. He's evil. He's a god. He, he whatever he wants, he can do. So if he wants to make you. <laughs> he believe he will make you believe he would doesn't want to make you believe he does not would not make you believe my friend you get it brother? my friend can i have your uh, you, you are a shake in which mosque and uh, maybe if i stop in in uh, in new york one day i can uh, pay you a visit if you don't mind okay brother so come to uh, astoria astoria can you give me the uh, the 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 full okay, name I'll and the address, address on my uh, right. on my uh, you, are, you, are, you are a nice person i have to admit you know and I apologize if I am really too much tough on you, but I have to say the truth, and the truth have to be as it is. But as you see, my friend, your your explanation to God that because He is so powerful, so He can make us commit sin, and then He will punish us for doing sin, which He made us do. That is not God. God is about justice, isn't it? You Muslims, you call your God Al Adil. Al Adil means the just. How He can be called such a name after this? To call somebody Adil. You have to be just. Brother. Listen to me, brother. Mm. If you really re look into it, that if, what is God first, right? God, God is someone who created you, right? Yes. Who created who created us from dust. If God created from dust, and He now ordered you to do to do this and do that, would you would you follow it or not? You said no. You I, you would I, not follow it. I told it. you. I, I told you. You right? see. You see, yeah, God, he gave up. But for me, brother, for mm. me on my side, whatever mm. God tells me, whatever He He says, I will follow it. But uh, you know what? What God never told us to kill innocent people. Never, brother. It is a wrong concept of, about Islam. You know about this. That God never told us to kill innocent people. God never told us to go and kill. Are you sure? People. Any, anyone? No, never. God never told Muslims to kill innocent people. Really? God never told anyone. Because okay. you, uh, my 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 student, he told me that you come on come on the show live and you tell people that Islam is an evil religion. Islam teaches evilness, but Islam never does that. But okay, my you friend. Let me ask you: When your ISIS, when your prophet he attack when your prophet he attack Bani Mustaliq, did they commit anything against him? Bani Mustaliq they never fought him. He attacked them. He killed the men. He took the women and he raped them. So what do you mean he did not command? Isn't it your prophet he said in chapter nine verse twenty nine, go and kill the Christians and the Jews unless they pay you the jizya? Your God he is teaching gang mentality. If we pay you jizya, we pay you money. We can live and we can even stay kufar. As long we pay, if we don't pay, we die. So how you say to me, Allah never ordered to kill innocent? Isn't it your prophet? He said, I've been ordered to kill all mankind, not to fight only. In Arabic, it says, Uqatil, you speak Arabic. So I've been ordered to kill all mankind until they say there's no God. 
but Allah so how you say to me that Islam never order to to kill anyone is not uh, unless he is guilty in Islam if you are not a Muslim you are guilty the second you say you refuse Allah you are guilty by being a kafir and that is enough to kill you and your prophet confirmed that and this is Sahih Hadith and this can be sponsored in the Quran so my friend my name is a Christian Prince and nobody can play games with me and you can tell I if you know 10% about Islam humbly I say I know a thousand times more than you about Islam don't make but things I know nothing. I'm, I'm zero you are you're, no you're, problem you're but people can be judged yes. but you are saying things to me you can't prove it how in the world you say to me that Islam order us not to kill innocent people it is Islam saying kill innocent people just because they are not Muslim they are not innocent though so I believe this is a form of deception trying to say to us what we hear in the TV stations that Islam is peace when your prophet says I've been ordered to kill all mankind and until... you got the, you got to look at the context of Quran okay Where give Quran me the context my friend here we go we have, to look, we have to look like summarize everything look okay? no problem look look everything. no problem is it your prophet who said that he commanded to find so, all people is, is, is God God sent prophets or prophets prophets or prophets to the Jews then he sends to the Jews Jesus and they believe in Jesus as, as, as a God then they believe they believe in in uh, Uzair as a God they they worship cow they who is Uzair by the way God. who is Uzair so think about it if uh, God is keep that is sending messages keep sending messengers they're killing messengers they're killing all those people they're killing those people who are believing hmm. okay okay did you say my friend did you say the Jews they're killing uh, people can you name for me one messenger the Jews they killed the Jews they killed they killed Yahya can you show me the reference please yeah, they have more other prophets we don't have we, we listen brother we we follow we believe in Torah we believe no, you in don't the believe Bible. in the Torah no okay, you don't believe in the Torah do you believe the Torah today is a true Torah the, the Torah today listen brother the Torah at the time of our Prophet Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam is different than the Torah that we have okay, so we how have you say, how, so yes. where you get the story that they killed they, 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 the, the Jews they killed the Prophet his name is Yahya where you get this story from is that from the Quran it is not where do you get the story that the Jews they killed the Prophet I told you who is the Prophet you said yeah here right you are listening first to my, my, my what I'm saying okay but I want I want I want reference you say to me from the Torah you don't believe in the Torah I'll give you references brother just wait okay mm. I'll give you references okay from the, from tafsir you, you will give it tafsir uh, tafsir is coming from the Torah too okay brother if uh, as i told you that god was keeps sending messengers to the, to the humanity to guide them but they what they would do is they will kill they will kill all those messengers okay I have, I have a smaller question for you before you go maybe you are tired let me ask you you just said that the jews they killed many prophets is that correct of course brother okay why they could not kill jesus why allah decide to save jesus only but not the rest as long they are prophet and the quran says we don't differentiate between prophets so how come the Jews even they killed Muhammad they killed him by poison so Muhammad died by poison and the Quran confirmed that some you called imposter liars and some you slay but yet we see that Allah decide only to save Jesus <laughs> do you have an explanation for this why and only Jesus will be saved when your prophet he was killed by poison okay brother listen first hmm. my mic yes go ahead okay brother Okay, brother. If you really look look into this, right? If you look that at the time when they were, they were about to kill Jesus, right? Mm. And according to the beliefs of Christian, if someone dies on the cross, what what is he? If he dies, no. If if he die in the cross and he is a guilty, he is a criminal. He will be cursed if you are a criminal because everyone who die in the that cross, dies on the cross will be cursed, right? If he is a criminal, if he is a criminal, because if you are, you die in the cross. My friend, that, then they, were, they were putting. My friend, my friend, uh, my, my friend, my friend, my friend. Because my... they were trying, they were trying to humiliate. Him. No, He's no, no. This is not the reason. The cross is a punishment of the Roman, and the Bible says whoever killed in the cross, because usually only criminals who commit big crimes, they are putting them in the cross. So whoever die in the in the wood crucified, he is cursed before he's a criminal. But Jesus commit no crime, as you know. So now we ask you why Allah decide to save Jesus, but he don't decide to save Muhammad as you see in Sahih al-Bukhari You're a prophet. He said that he died by poison which he ate in Khaybar and he said that the, 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 the poison I ate is getting is cutting my orta and then right away after that he died and he keep repeating that many times So proven to us from your Islamic source Muhammad died by poison Jesus according to, to, to Muslims. He was saved by Allah. The question is very simple 
why Allah saved Jesus, but he don't want to save Muhammad? So if you know, brother, that Jesus, at that time when they were trying to crucify him, mm. God took him up to the, to the heavens. Okay? So, what, sorry, say again what? I did not get you. What? So God took him to the heavens when they were trying to crucify Jesus. Okay, why Muhammad? Why Allah did not okay. take now, Muhammad to heaven? If you if you really know Bible, even if you go to your priests, mm. right? You they will tell you that there was there was a prophet that God would tell each prophet that there's a prophet coming, my last prophet. Even if he comes in your time, you have to believe in him mm. and you have to follow his teachings. Mm. And what does this have to do with my question? Agree. Why Allah did not save Muhammad? Agree. That okay, okay, Allah told every understand. prophet that I will send a prophet, that will be my last prophet. If he comes in your time, you have to follow him. What last whatever prophet? Whatever he says. Who is the last prophet? As I'm saying to you that that uh, even in Bible is even in in uh, Torah, mm. okay. Mm. The God told that there's a there will be a messenger, the servant of Allah mm. will come to you. The Bible he says will be that the seals of the prophethood. I don't know. I don't know. Mm. I, I I just learned this from you. I never even saw the word Allah in the Bible. What are you talking about? And how Muhammad can be the messenger of of God yet? The Quran says, look like my friend, you do not know uh, your, your religion. Isn't it the Quran says, we never send a messenger unless he speaks the language of the people. So in order for Muhammad to, to be a, a messenger to the Jews, he have to speak the language of the Jews and he have to be one of them. And this will be a contradiction for the Quran. Look like you Muslims, you don't respect the Quran and you make fun of Allah's words. In chapter 14, verse number 4 says, we send not a messenger except to teach in the language of his own people. So in order for Muhammad to be a messenger for the Jews and for the Christians from different ethnic group, he have to be from the people, speaking the tongue of the people. So how you explain that to me? So you are contradicting yourself, contradicting your religion, and you are showing no respect to the book of Allah. Oh, brother, I'm, I show all my respect, respect to the book of Allah. Brother. So why you are saying that to me? How Muhammad can be a messenger if the Quran is saying we never sent? We never sent. No exception. Yeah. He never sent that means that at the time of Musa -salam, no my friend this is not in the time of Musa this verse came in the time of Muhammad okay that came in the time of Muhammad but mm. God is talking about that we sent messengers to the mm. people in their own language oh, correct so Muhammad he was sent okay. in, but we so never Muhammad sent was sent to the Arabian Arabian people okay. over there there were Jewish people mm. and there were Christian people over there too mm. but no but, but but they are not from the people they are not Arab the Jewish they are they are refugee so uh, we never send so what the Quran confirm in here and even the Quran says we send you to the, we send the Quran in Arabic so you can warn the people of uh, uh, of the uh, of the town of uh, Mecca and what is around it correct so the Quran confirm that this is only for the people in Mecca and around it only and those who speak the language so how Muhammad can be a messenger mentioned in the Bible that is the first story which is fabricated by the Muslims because they are uh, uh, you know uh, uh, looking for uh, 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 you know uh, any proof that Muhammad is a prophet, but as you see Muhammad cannot be a prophet of God for a very simple reason You should not kiss the stones. You should not go around the stones You should not believe in the holy stones and you should not be a pagan and Muhammad everything he teach He taught you about the Safa al-Marwa. A Safa al-Marwa is nothing but to uh, a man and a woman They have sex together as you see in the screen and the uh, uh, the pagan they believe that uh, uh, Allah he struck them and he made them two idols and this is the book of Asbab al Nazul, the same book we read it from before. Your, your, your scholar, so your scholar is teaching that there is two idols. They were there, and they were worshipped by the by the Arab pagan. And this is why the the Muslim, after they join Islam, they thought Muhammad will change this. This is why he says uh, we refuse to pre perform as Safa al Marwa. And then Muhammad, because Al Ansar. They like to do as Safa al Marwa. So Muhammad, to make them happy, he says that the Safa al Marwa they are. From the shrine of Allah, read with me carefully. Ibn Malik said, We dislike going between a Safa and Al Marwa uh, uh, because they wear the shrine of Quraysh, they are pagan of the pre Islamic period, and we abandon them in Islam. Now, do the do the pagan of Quraysh believe in Abraham and uh, the story you told me? No, this is fiction. That's what I'm telling they, you, brother. Okay, the, the people of every time, if you even if you look, go, go to the, the time of Musa mm. at that time, if you look, the people that are first following Musa salam, when Musa salam, was there. What Musa salam, I say, right. those are pagan Arab, they have nothing to do with Musa. Right. Come listen, on, my friend, brother, I'm telling you, you, I'm telling you something, you have to listen now, okay? <laughs> they, they were following the teaching of Musa, but when Musa salam, left, what did 
what did the Jews do? They started, they made their own idol, a cow, and they started worshiping the cow. Mm, okay. Okay? Mm. okay, brother. So when the mm. prophet left, what they do? They, they worship the cow. Mm. So if you go back to that time now, e prophet Isa, when he came, mm. he, he spoke even as a baby that I'm, I'm Abdullah. Mm. I'm the servant of Allah. I'm the servant of God. Mm. He said that, right? He said so that. When he, this is in at your that book, time, I mean. the people, because the Jews, they were, they were accusing Maryam mm. that she committed adultery, but she never committed adultery with anyone. Mm. But how the Jews will, will accuse Mary committed adultery if Mary, they were accusing she, Mary at that time because how? Mary was, was, was the daughter of Imran. She was, My friend, how, did you say that Mary is the daughter of Imran? Oh, we are losing him. Hello? Hello? Yeah, it looked like we lost him. Anyway, it, that's that will be endless. Guys, uh, did you have fun? Did you have a good time? A shake want to debate me? I don't even dare to debate myself. What a big mistake. Anyway, he's welcome to call us anytime. Uh, feel free to download this video, share it everywhere. You can cut it from the time he start calling me, because that will teach everybody. How Islam is really nothing but a fiction. It's a collection of stupidity. And those who claim to be sheikhs, they have no answer. Hello? Sorry, brother. It's, My, all right. it's, all, it's all right. No problem. No, 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 no. Uh, charge went off. No so, problem. brother, okay. No. So, Mariam, she was from the lineage of Yaqub. Okay, let me, let me ask you. Let me ask you. When, you, when, you, when you say that Mariam is the daughter of Omran, Omran where, is, where is this coming from? Is it really is really Mary the daughter of Amran? It's the forefather, the lineage of Maryam uh -huh. comes from the lineage of Yaqub. This is not a question. The Quran says that Mary is the daughter of Amran. Is that correct? Yes, of course, brother. Okay, what is the name of the father of Moses? Amran. Okay, so now we have Moses and Mary, they have the same father and they are brothers and sisters. Even today, brother, mm. can't you have two in one family? No, you have, let's say, no, famous Christian. No. No, my, first of all, Moses, Moses is not from the same tribe of Mary. This is number one. Secondly, secondly, I'm saying lineage. I'm not saying tribe, brother. No, I'm saying lineage. Still, still lineage will not be the same because at the end of the day, they aren't from the same tribe. Say, secondly, the father of Mary, her, his name is not Omran. So why Muhammad, he called the wrong name? Simply because he thought that Maryam, the sister of Moses and the sister of Aaron, is the same Maryam, is the sister of uh, 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 of, of, of Moses, uh, the, the mother of Jesus. So Muhammad, he says, Ya Ukhta Harun, or sister of Aaron, because he thought that those are family and all of them, they have one father, his name is Amran. So your prophet cannot be a prophet. How he cannot quote a name correctly? He, his history is wrong and he quote in name cor wrong and he claimed that uh, uh, Aaron is the, is the same, have the same father as Mary, which is Amran. At the same time, he said to her, Oh, sister of Aaron. So this is additional proof that your prophet cannot be a prophet. It's a fiction. It's a lie. Same time, go and read the Bible. Why the Christians even need to change the name of the father of Mary? Why even the, the Jews need to change the name of the father of of uh, of Moses or or Aaron? In bo both name, your prophet he called, he called them correct wrongly. You have so many questions, brother. I know you have so many. Man, that's good to have questions always. All right. Allah, Allah, Allah loves those people who have questions. No, okay? my friend, this is not true. This is not. Questions. This is not a true. No, the Quran. The Quran. The Quran, the Quran. No, Allah don't love those who, who, who have questions. This is not true. In chapter five, verse number one one oh one, Allah says, "Ask not questions." So why you say to me, Allah, he's, he loved those who love, uh, who ask questions? Ask for no questions. At time today, we have complete Quran today. Mm. It's for the people that at the time of uh, Muhammad, peace be upon him, mm. they didn't have the complete Quran. They didn't have the understanding that uh, today we have. Uh -huh. What does that you mean? You get it, brother? What does that mean? Okay, brother. Today we have a complete Quran. We don't have a complete Quran. Where, where do you get this from? Where do you get this from? Isn't it Aisha, she said that the chapter of Al-Ahzab used to be equal to the chapter of Al-Baqarah? Isn't it Omar? He said that the Quran uses a, a, a thousand, thousand, and twenty-seven thousand letter, which means we don't have even twenty-five percent of the Quran. 
isn't it Aisha in the hadith she said we were busy with the Prophet a goat came and ate the Quran I mean you Muslims you are copy paste you say things to us you yourself don't believe in it how we have the complete Quran when all your Islamic reference says the Quran is gone brother if you know if you look at the hadith of Aisha hmm. it says the goat came and ate hmm. the two, two verses and that verses she kept she kept for her memory that was about stony ramal okay tell me tell me from your memory please the breast okay tell me the bre the breastfeeding for adult uh, from your memory as long as you said we keep it in the memory i want to i want you to recite for me the breast uh, feeding for adult 10 time verse do you remember it 10 time verse listen brother first hmm. this this there's nothing missing from the quran and quran is completely complete there's yeah. nothing wrong my with friend quran. do you memorize it do you but, memorize but the breast feeding for adult we have to go back we have to go back to Mariam, okay. No, 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 said, no, 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 no. You see, before before you go, I don't like to jump. You said to me, we memorize it, nothing missing. Here, there's either me trying to play games with you, or you are trying to play games with me. How you say to me, we memorize it, but you cannot recite it for me. Here we go. I'm asking you, can you please, friendly? I want to learn from you. I want you to be my teacher from today. Can you recite for me the breast feeding for adult ten time, which the goat ate it? You said yes, we memorize it. Okay, I want to hear it. Go ahead. The words of stone and breastfeeding and adult ten times was revealed. Okay. And the paper was Can under it? me, my pillow, when messenger of Allah died. Mm. Spell upon him. We were preoccupied with his death and the time time she came and ate it. Mm. If you look go go a little bit uh, down. Okay. This is just a comment about the hadith. This is not, uh, you know. So anyway, so can you recite for me the breastfeed for adult verse, please? You said we memorize it. Is nothing is missing? But the, there's no, there's no verses about that. The, that was, that was something that she kept about for her, for her memory. Okay. Really? What are you talking yeah. about? It says here, the breast, the verses, the verses of stoning and the breastfeeding was revealed. What do you mean there was no such a thing? It says was revealed. Do you see the verse? Of stoning and breastfeeding was revealed. So, what do you mean? There's no such a thing. Okay, brother, you have so many questions, and we need if you if you know the Quran is not not a book that we just take it and we just read it and we just throw it there. You know, this is another we question, my friend. This is another question. This is another question. Can you recite for me? Can you recite for me the breastfeeding for adult verses? Sorry, brother. Can you recite the verses for breastfeeding for adult ten times? Adult ten time. Hmm. Can you recite the there's verse? No, there's no words for that. Okay, brother. Well, here it says, here it says that the verses was revealed. So are you accusing Aisha to be a liar, my friend? I'm not accusing Aisha. Hmm. Her, okay. That she's a liar. So what? Why you are saying there's no such a thing? Aisha, she said it's a verse and it was revealed, but yet you say there's no such a thing. So one of you is lying, either her or or, or you. Okay, brother. Brother, uh, I'll call. I'll call you. What time you come come live? Almost uh, every, every day. day. Almost every day, my friend. Every day from what time to what time? Um, you know, sometimes uh, three thirty New York time. Sometime before, you know, you can subscribe to my channel and you will be able to follow me. Okay, brother. I'll I'll tell my student to listen uh, right. to okay. tell me you whenever. Come and I will come. You always. And I apologize again if I was harsh in some words with you. I don't mean to be yeah. so, to be harsh, but. Uh, I I, know, I, I, this, you have questions. I know you have questions about Islam. Uh, how it was revealed? Why was uh, Prophet Muhammad a prophet? Why was Quran revealed? Why was each verse hmm. revealed? Why? Why we have all everything from the from the Bible and the Torah? You have you are saying this. When why we? What you have so many why why? You say, you say inshallah we'll ask we'll answer all your all your why why. Yes, but nobody can answer them as you see. Until now you did not answer anything. And the last and the last one you are oh, trying not to answer. Better. Why you I don't told, wanna, as I told you that my, my friend before you go you I, I understand you are going you, you are going three you said no because so you don't know the concept of God first my friend my friend before you go just one the last question I asked you why you don't answer it why you are saying that Aisha she said there is a breastfeeding revealed and you are saying there's no such a thing why you don't why either you apologize from Aisha not from me because you are accusing Aisha that when she said the breastfeeding for adult ten time was revealed. Do you know what revealed mean? It was inspiration. Uh, either you apologize from Aisha or you say I don't agree with Aisha. Okay, brother, let me see the uh, this again. 
Um, I'll, I'll try to look into, into this hadith. Mm -hmm. Okay, brother? Okay. And we'll try to talk again, again, and again. So you will not answer me now. You will not answer me. It. Okay, I got it. Okay, no problem. All right, my friend. Thank you very much for calling. I, I will answer you. It's not that I, I can't answer you. Because uh -huh. whenever, I, whenever I speak, you say, why? When I answer, when I try to answer, you say why. Then I answer, they say why. Mm -hmm. It's like you are keep interrupting. Like I'm you have not so interrupting. Here we go. I will keep my mouth my, my shut for the came in thirty minutes if you want. Do you like to answer or not? I will answer you, brother. But one day. But right now, but it's, now. it's time for Isha Salah. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay, brother. Okay. And I have to go, go right. to the masjid and pray Isha. All right. Take care, my friend, and thank you for calling. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You have to go to pray. Hmm. Did he say he have to pray for Aisha? And he live in New York. But Aisha in New York at six thirty-two p.m. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, they expose the lies of Muhammad and uh, learn how to be tough on this cult. And tough mean to be bold. To say it as it is, not as they want, not politically correct. Being politically, politically correct is an illness, is a weakness. If somebody is hiding something, they've been forced to say something. So if you are a Christian, say things as it is. Yes, we love the Muslims, but doesn't mean we will let the Muslim die and go to hell. Loving the Muslims is saving the Muslims. It's not the opposite. So when somebody, he says to you, uh, that you are being rude, this is not how a Christian should be speaking. A true Christian is the one who say things as it is, and that will make it true for sure.